Dan Barton, disguised as the Black Commando, has repeatedly blocked a group of Nazi agents in their attempts to sabotage the nation. The police believe him responsible for the Nazi activities and are about to implicate Officer Pat Flanagan as his accomplice. Get down there. Get to a phone and send out an alarm that Barton's holed up under the streets. To cover the manholes at both ends of the block. Not you, Flanagan. I want to talk to you. that I would hide an enemy to my country. He was here and you were hide him. And I refused and was about to arrest him when you busted in waving your arms around and pushed me. I tell you, he'd be in jail this very minute if he'd left it to me. I'm still trying to figure out how he got in here without you knowing it. Are you kidding? Well, you know as well as I do that Barton is the smartest cook catcher in this country. Why, he knows more tricks about getting in and out of places than most of his customers. I noticed that. But this time, I think we got him trapped. Remember, I said in and out of places. Yeah? Well, if he slips away from us this time, you're going to be answering a lot of questions. Yeah. Stage lost a good actor when you joined the force. Stage my foot. I'm going to be head Napoleon in the booby hatch if you don't quit this. When I risk my neck and reputation getting you out of here, I didn't think you'd be fool enough to come back again. That's right. And Hogan won't think so either. Well, a man doesn't have to be crazy to keep up with you, but it is sure help. What's next? Well, after the destruction of their lab and camera shop, the gang hid out. They're all hiding out now. Nobody reports until a certain ad is put in the personal column of the newspapers. Hello? Oh, hello, Gene. Huh? Well, wait a minute. Dan's here. Oh, don't worry. We duck talking all right. Yeah. Well, tell it to him. Here. Hello? The city desk just got a flash from Washington. Count Von Bern, Nazi war race, escaped from Canadian prison camp last night. Believed headed for West Coast with copies of Alaskan defense plans. Uh-oh. The gang's in hiding now. But if Von Bern is headed here, they'll start operations again. Well, I have to get back to Chief Bern's office and square myself for running out on him. Goodbye, Dan. Good luck. Von Bern's headed for the coast. We're bound to see action. 
Get out and buy all the afternoon papers. Get every edition as it hits the street. Tyson may have placed that ad by now. Count Van Bern will arrive by one of our secret planes with maps and full information regarding Alaskan defense areas. Instruct about night landing. Put the following in secret code and send it at once. Van Bern, all arrangements made for safe landing. Use black light beam to pick up signal panels. The following course will give you place of landing and the time will be... Message is completed, sir. You have summoned the man? Yes, sir. The advertisement is appearing in all of the papers. Here she is at last. Look. Sorry, we have nothing in your line today. You folks advertise for mechanics? I'm afraid all the positions have been filled. But let me see your union card for future reference. Oh, you're one of the men our manager wrote to. That's right. Right in there. Thanks, miss. Well, I didn't know you were in the employment business, too. You'd sure get around. Never mind that. The leader has assigned you to act as guard on a night mission. You are leaving with me and the others from the Crystal Garage at 9 tonight. Okay. I'll see you there. Not so fast, Barton. You might lose your way. Felton, you better go with him. you feel, but I'm going to take time out for a cup of coffee. All right, I'll go with you. How much, buddy? Two coffees, the donut, that'll be 15 cents. Hey, cut that out. What are you wasting my pepper for? Would you stop? Oh, you shouldn't be so stingy with your pepper. Oh. See what the... Oh. Stand guard and keep out of sight. I hope Von 
Von Bern gets here safely. He's bound to. The leader plotted a course that will fly Von Bern here without crossing restricted territory. It stopped down there a little way. I'll warn the gang. Now, wait. That was a motorcycle. Only one man. We can handle it. Signal panels, we haven't got much time. Can you cover the entire panel with that small beam? I don't intend to. Von Bern's plane is equipped with a spread beam projector and a fluorescinous filter lens that matches this small tester. You'll have no trouble locating us. There it is. Right near here. There is his chute. Van Bern! Van Bern! He may wander off and be picked up. We've got to find him. I'll be seeing you. Van Bern! Who are you? Oh, well, Lieutenant Tyson. At your service, Count Van Bern. Heil Hitler. Heil Hitler. My men, sir. Professor Metzger? We will dispense with interruptions. Take me to your leader. This way, sir. Heil Hitler. Heil Hitler. We're glad you arrived safely, Von Bern. Take off your flying gear. Uh, one moment, sir. I would like to see you alone. You speak excellent English, my friend. Too good, in fact. Take off those goggles. <laughs>
Barton blocked the enemy pooch. And now we take you to the office of Major Henry Burton, U.S. Army Intelligence. I have here a very interesting document. Now, this looks like uh, a perfectly innocent letter. But look, look what's on the inside of the envelope. There's a code message here, and unless I'm mistaken, it's a ruler code. Let me show you how to solve it. Here's what was on the inside of the envelope. Now, the first thing to do in solving a code of this sort is to determine which is the largest number. Now, in this case, the number is six. The smallest number is zero. And you will note that there are only three fractions used. One quarter, one half, and three quarters. Thus, with zero and the six numbers and three fractions for every number, we get 28 different symbols. And that sounds like all we need to make up an alphabet and a little left over. So let's, uh, let's try it out on the word. Now, here's a short word, zero, four, and three quarters. Now, zero should be A, four and three quarters should be T. And that spells at, but it's only a short word. So let's write it down and try a longer one. Here, the first word, four and a half, is S, four and three quarters, T, three and a half, O, and three and three quarters, P. Stop train at any cost. And you can bet we didn't waste any time in stopping the men who wanted to stop that train. Well, that's all for today, folks. But don't forget to come back next week. Don't fail to see Pawn of the Spy Ring, Chapter 13 of The Secret Code.